Hi YouTube, hope all is well in YouTube land. Um, I was asked a question, now I did a video on this years ago, but um, kind of understanding more now. Uh, so um, I'll just share with you. Um, we have lived in a world of a trauma-based world, meaning that the bodies that we have entered into have carried trauma. And that carrying of trauma then manipulates the way that person behaves and also how, how unable they are fully to come fully into their body. The trauma that has come over the human race has also been deliberately. It's not just through the learning of copying parents, it's also through the DNA as the DNA has been tampered with long, 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 long time ago. And uh, um, ET DNA has been imprinted over our genetics. So therefore we've come into physical bodies that have been tampered with. Um, this has come from other ET races and has been orchestrated what I'd say called a universe next door to us, which had the watches in it, these giants. And they brought in the AI they brought in um, and which created in our reality the right side of our brains to be abusive and the left side of our brains to be victims. So we've lived in an abuse victim reality that you can, you've experienced and you see it everywhere. It's actually encouraged in this reality. Um, and part of the abuse victim naturally creates a savior because when you are abusing oneself and you are victim to yourself you can't rely on yourself to heal yourself so you uh, the reason this came along is that then they create a savior so you don't you become disempowered within yourself and then you need someone else to look for to be empowered by and this is where religion came along and gods and all different religions that you have here on earth to the political system to you know even in the spiritual community you go into the spiritual and when i first entered into the spiritual community it was all angels and uh, archangels i seen the hierarchy and the angels and it's like it's all bollocks it's all to keep you in that abuse victim savior mode and out of uh, empowerment mode if you have somebody you've got somebody in front of you and um, they are trust themselves they believe in themselves they rely solely on who they are um, that is a empowered person a very very empowered person um, but if you have somebody who doesn't have that and relies on their god to their angels, to the politicians, to to whoever, um, then it's very disempowering. You are very vulnerable to be highly manipulated and abused by a system that doesn't give a shit about you. And that's kind of that's what's that's generally what's happened, isn't it? It's uh, we live it. We've been living under a system that really doesn't give a toss, and the the. The controllers and the manipulators and the abusers, the politicians, all these people um, that have uh, manipulated us and carried on basically the work that the universe, the the watchers have done um, and encoded in our DNA, um, have created uh, uh, a reality that has been so far from how humans work and. Um, and disempowered the human race. And they want to keep you in that disempowerment. So um, when you start to wake up, so when I started to wake up, I woke up and then I, um, I was like fascinated by, because my mum could read palms when I was a kid and stuff like that, and I'm absolutely fascinated. And I'd be like, oh, I'd love to do that, that would be amazing. Um, but when I woke up, I started, so awakening is when you actually get more in tune with yourself. Um, I had a big awakening and I, I, my out of reality didn't reflect me. It didn't make sense. I, I, I had uh, just got married and I was about to become a teacher um, in English in Thailand. And, and, um, and then I started to wake up that 
actually I was creating my reality, so my pain and my um, struggles, insecurities that I'd never looked at before really, um, but actually had everything to do with me. You know, I was the only one that was going to overturn them. I started to learn that there was far more to life than what we we're being told by the media also, and that the way that I felt had that I could actually change that. So I started to understand that and um, my reality started to break down and I came back to the UK and and I started to do um, I learned quantum healing hypnosis by Dolores Cannon, which was amazing. And um, I absolutely loved it, like a passion came and a fiery, 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 fiery energy came into my heart, like this is, like I'm on the right path now. I haven't been on the right path, but I'm on the right path now and passion for that. But what I saw was that I was too scared. I had so much fear of who I was. I didn't go and get hypnotized myself. And I really wanted to know and understand like who I was, why I was here, had I had any past lives, <laughs> all these sort of things that, and, um, but I didn't trust anybody. I like had serious trust issues. And uh, I was like, I'm not gonna let anyone put me under. Plus it wasn't the other person, but I was too scared, what was I gonna see? And that was like really frightening, like who am I gonna, what am I gonna see? And I was like, I can, I can do this, I can put myself under, I can travel, I can, uh, I can, I can travel with my consciousness, I can just put myself under and get, it's just, it's just a case of getting relaxed. You don't need anyone for that. So I started to teach myself. I started to get very, very relaxed and then my heart started to travel. Well, in all those times, I then started, crap started to happen. I started getting attacks and all this sort of rubbish that started to happen, hor horrendous stuff. <laughs> and, um, but huge learnings came from that. So looking back, massive learnings. So there was like, got involved, which I thought was a, uh, a nice guy, but it was a black magician, and there were all these attacks, horrible attacks that came through. And uh, But I learned through the attacks, they just work off the energies that you have within. So the frequency that we are inside, we attract in. So even though they were bloody horrendous, they actually were a really big point of actually teaching myself how to heal myself. And that learning how to heal myself, so I go back to the original trauma with my conscious, because I'd already learned how to travel, go back to the original trauma and understand that and and then um, break that trauma down. And and, um, and then I started getting memories back of what happened when, you know, when I was younger. Many of us don't have our trauma memories. They're, they're in the first seven years of our lives and we're not, we don't have the visuals of it. But our heart is trying to tell us and, um, we have the abilities to go back in time and have a look. We have the abilities to to do that. We have abilities to go to our higher selves, to our souls, to many different layers of our consciousness that um, we don't get taught at school, but they are hugely helpful to us. So the religion religion knows this. So they they know how powerful we are. There's the 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 people that have, have abused us, that come ETs and everything, they know how powerful we are. They know that we can understand reality and change reality and um, and that changing of reality, they, they don't want us to understand that. They don't want un us to understand how we manifest reality because we manifest reality through the connection between the left and the right brain. We understand, we manifest reality through understanding who we are. The way we evolve is through the understanding of who we are. And we can get through that, we can gain so much information and so much insight into ourselves to reality at large that um, they don't want us access to that. So they, they want to keep us in this disempowered state so we will rely on a system that is actually very abusive. They don't want us to get us out of this abuse victim mentality that humanity's been in because that starts to create, a, an empowered person starts to create their own individual reality. So what happens to them is nothing, it, it can't, the frequencies that are being fired at us through the old reality can't, 
won't be affected because we know how we manifest our reality. It has everything to do with our consciousness and how our left side of the brain, which is the feminine side and the right side of the brain interact with one another. And that's what they don't want us to get to because then it's game over for them. And then they can't be the savior anymore. If you look at all the power figures, they are the savior to, to your issues. And actually your issues are, you are the one, you're the empowered one, you can change your reality. And um, that when you wake up and the, I, when I woke up and I went into like the spiritual, yeah, I started doing psychic churches, like spiritual churches and stuff like that. And the big thing in psychic churches was angels and guides. So I was like, oh, I've got a guide. That's nice and um, so I started relying on energy outside of myself and bringing angels in what what happened when I brought angels in I've also brought demonic energy in because they're one of the same thing it's a construct of the matrix so if someone's losing angels and guides well they're not relying on their own energies they need to rely on their own energies and that's where we are walking to where we're fully empowered within ourselves and you know and then if we go into partnership with someone you rely on one another one becomes the masculine one becomes the feminine and you rely and trust and believe in one another that's how the reality changes your individual reality changes and all the crap that they fly at us um can't affect won't affect us so with guides with angels um it is to keep people in a disempowered state is to keep people in the abuse victim mindset where your right side of your mind attacks the feminine side which means that you are abusive to oneself and and therefore you can do two sides you can be the victim or you can be the abuser you could only be in those energies and and then your reality will reflect that also you'll bring abuse people in, victim people in, you'll, you'll, you'll only bring that energy system in. We're healing all that, you bring a completely different energy system in. You experience completely different energies within inside yourself and then outside yourself. So um, someone asked about angels and angels and are they, I think it's part of the healing, not to demoralize or put people who believe in angels or anything like that, but it's, if they continue, um, they will realize that actually they don't need angels. <laughs> they don't need archangels. They actually need to trust and believe in themselves. And that trust and belief in themselves is way more powerful. Your consciousness, a heart being believed in, uh, the feminine being believed in, the woman being believed in and trusted that she can manifest the reality. That is a powerful place to be. And that's where, that's where people are walking to. So trust yourself, believe in yourself. Um, uh, I am going to do a, a free healing on YouTube. Um, I'll give you dates nearer the time. It won't be long. Um, I do have courses to teach you how to travel in your consciousness, to um, connect to your higher selves. Uh, to your soul, to many, you know, to heal your trauma that you have, to come out of the abuse victim mindset um, and understand how powerful you are. So that those courses are um, on my website. I'll put a link onto my website if you wish to join. It'd be wonderful to have you. It's a live interactive course. I do have online courses as well. Uh, they're much cheaper and... Um, and you can do it at your own leisure. And this one, it's you'll see me every week. So the live course is with me. You'll see me every week and you'll be in a very, very small group. There's just six, six people. And then you'll practice on one another. And, and then every week you'll see me and I'll look in and help you and help you break down beliefs and, and stuff like that. So, okay. Okay, I think I've, I think I've rambled. Um, <laughs> Okay, sending lots of love and big hugs and see you soon. You take care. Bye.